This video is sponsored by Custom Covers. Well, uh, greetings from Quartzsite, Arizona. In today's video, we'll experience the RV extravaganza that is Quartzsite in the winter. We'll get to hang out with fellow YouTubers and even sneak into one of their live videos. We'll check out the big tent and the rest of the Quartzsite RV show. We'll attend a meet and greet and meet even more YouTubers. We'll have campfires and even take a dirt road and visit a secluded awesome bar in the middle of the desert. So. Stay tuned, because a brand new video is coming up next. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. The Arizona desert, at the crossroads of Interstate 10 and US 95, there is a small, sleepy town of just 3,000 people, which during the winter months swells to almost a million, most of them nomads on wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quartzsite, Arizona. Arriving in Quartzsite uh, for the first time can be a little intimidating. There are literally thousands of RVs everywhere at several RV parks and BLM land areas. But finding the entrance to register at the BLM, at least for me, has proven to be a bit of a challenge. Google Maps is not great at finding these places, so I suggest you know where you're going beforehand. So I wander around a little bit and eventually I find the entrance to the Skadden Wash. Here I have to register to get my 14-day permit to camp on BLM, which stands for Bureau of Land Management. In other words, public land. After scouting a little bit, I find this nice spot right here next to this huge saguaro cactus. Well, hello everybody and greetings, I'm here, finally made it to Quartzsite, Arizona and I'm staying here at this uh, BLM land, which means uh, free camping for 14 days, uh, called Scada Wash, it's right off uh, I-10 and I'm parked right next to this humongous uh, saguaro cactus, so this is pretty nice and um, I'm gonna head into town now before it gets dark uh, to get a little bit of a lay of the land and then, so tomorrow I can go to the big tent and do some made-ups and all that good stuff. This might sound strange, but I find it really hard to get my bearings inside the BLM, uh, where there aren't any real roads. And I usually have a pretty good sense of orientation, but not here. There is La Mesa RV, the very large RV dealer here, and the big tent. Let's get our first look here at the at the show here at the Well this area here is basically a large flea market or swap meet. But it's late, they're already closing down for the day, so I'll be brief. Well, I almost got lost on my way back. And just like that, another day comes to an end. Who would have thunk I'm in Quartzsite? Well, the desert is uh, so beautiful at this time of the day. I am about to experience my first desert sunset here in Quartzsite.
that's her chance. It's... I decide to leave at night to hang out with some fellow YouTubers, but I get lost in the dark desert. Thankfully, I am able to find my way back. Epic fail. Well, good morning from the Cascada Wash of Scada Wash here in Quartzsite, Arizona. It's almost a sunrise. It is 33 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we are. I really like all these mountains surrounding Quartzsite. Such a beautiful sight. Some people are leaving early. Well, this buddy of mine worked great most of the night. I ran out of propane. You can see me well. Well, anyway, this is the first coffee from the desert. Well, first uh, quartzite coffee. Check out the view outside. <gasps> the sun is just rising. What I'm going to do today, when I actually find my way out of here, I want to put little pins on the road, like, like breadcrumbs. So if I need to get out of here at night. What we saw when we got in here, it's, it's just paths made by vehicles driving around. There's no roads, there's no GPS, there's nothing, you know. Well, it's going to be an omelette with bacon bits or scrambled eggs. It depends how it comes out. Mmm, yum. Well, let me show you where I am. There's my saguaro cactus and this area right here called the Scadden Wash, east of town. In fact, you can see quartzite in the distance. The Robert Tramp Rendezvous or RTR took place just a little further away from town in this same area. Let's fly closer to quartzite proper. Okay, that's far enough. Let's return. Hmm, where am I? That's not it. Hmm, here I am. Well, I have been invited by Paul and Lorena of the Motorhome Experiments YouTube channel to hang out this morning and participate in their live video, so that's where I'm going. They are staying at La Posa West long-term visitors area, and uh, I believe this is their campsite. Hey, Welcome everybody. to Last Saturday Live Adventure Nation. We are here in Quartzsite, Arizona. and We've got a couple little surprises for you while we're here. It's going to be really, really cool. Joining us today, all the way from Miami, Florida, is Robert. Come on, pull up. Chair Robert, we got Traveling Robert Hello with us. There. We got Don and Kevin in the back, a couple of viewers that are hanging out with us, and I'm sure we're gonna see Lori and Brian out here soon. There's shy though. I'm always cold, plus I just shower, so I'm really cold, and it's chilly in here. I know. It's not super warm, but we're in the direct sun. And I, you know, I haven't showered in a week, so I'm not cold. And it's a little bit breezy. I think it's in the 50s, so for me it's cold. All I'm right, we got cold. Robert shooting while we're I'm shooting. doing it behind the scenes. The behind the scenes, <laughs> you're gonna sneak <laughs> in, awesome. <laughs> Robert is doing a behind the scenes shoot right now, so when he gets back, we'll, we'll find that out. But I think it's the action cam that you guys use, right? So here, here comes Robert yes. to answer the someone, question. Someone was asking about the yeah. camera. Is yeah. the Sony FDRX 3000? It's 4K. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice and small. And Gina and George have the same camera. Yeah. Very good nice. lens, decent, decent audio. audio. Very good. Yeah. Cool. 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 It has an external audio as well, so you can hook up a mic. Yeah. You can hook up a mic. Nice. 
Very perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah, see? I guess all the cool kids have those. See, Gene, Gene's got one too. All the cool kids have those. I have a phone. And there's another camcorder style shooter, just like mine. As I keep sneaking behind the scenes. I'm curious, how's the stream anyways? Is the stream pretty decent? Yeah. Yeah? So here's the other myth about quartzite. You cannot get cell signal here. The nice fiberglass rig belongs to G&J Roaming and Rolling, also on YouTube. Uh, now Paul and I, uh, we're going to the big tent. Now we're going to go uh, finally see the tent, the big tent, and then we have a meetup with other YouTubers. And we're just gonna walk to the tent because it's real close. Yeah. But they got a great spot here at the, at the long-term uh, area. No, no, this is a, uh, what's it visitors. called? Long-term visitors area, LTVA. Robert and I are arriving at the show. This is the big tent. And it has like a, almost like a fair kind of atmosphere here. They have a food by the entrance. And, uh, yep, it's like a carnival out there. Here in Quartzite, being in the middle of the desert, there's a lot more solar stuff, more than in other RV shows, for sure. LED lights? Yep, all kinds of stuff in here. Back pain, no, I don't have back pain, no. Inflatable uh, jacuz jacuzzis. Yeah, we were gonna you know, take the uh, dinette out, put one of those in there. Yeah, <laughs> why not? <laughs> North to Alaska, this is this is what you need. We we picked up a bunch of this stuff. Yeah. The other day, so that we could do this. You gotta get that. Um, it's called the the mile post. That's She's, what everyone told yes. us about. The mile post. They have no, a long, long honeymoon. They uh, yeah. They did a lot. They do a lot of Alaska. More solar. That we bought the panels, the, this is the panels, the extra panels we bought were this new tower. New tower. I'm going to be doing a little bit of work with them on uh, uh, an install video and some stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, Paul is getting a brand new starter for his uh, generator. Yeah. Generator's not playing nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, finally made it to the big tent. <laughs> well, yeah, this is kind of the reason I drove almost straight through all the way from Tampa, Florida. much stuff here at the big tent at the quartzite <sighs> yeah it is kind of overwhelming here we've got mattresses the FMCA has a booth very cool Yeah, we could replace the dinette for one of these. Like Paul said. I'm you didn't want. I tell you, this is stainless steel. They do not rust. Ash brown potatoes, shred coconut, cheddar cheese. And out here, they have the... Check it out. One more time on this one. Oh, you're using your voice command. How fancy. <laughs> I don't have any hands left. <laughs> I see. So Paul, 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 Paul has been coming, has How been shopping. I know you. <laughs> Supply. Oh, paint. Metallic paints. Oh, for when I go to Amarillo to the Cadillac Ranch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Yeah. They've got all kinds of stuff here, Paul. Yes, sir. Yeah, very much like a carnival type atmosphere. Yep. Definitely. Like the county fair. More solar stuff everywhere. That's quartzite. Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
interesting. Uh, look, beer, wine, food. Well, yeah, of course, you have to have a bar. But in here, they call it adult daycare. How appropriate. Yes, very lively. Okay, I would go into uh, some of these rigs, but I think you've seen enough in, enough RVs uh, from my uh, Tampa RV shows, uh, RV show videos. So, uh, if I find something extremely interesting, I will walk inside. But otherwise, you've seen all this, all these solitudes, Gorgeous. the Integras, yeah. That was a lot of fun hanging out with Paul at the show. Next, I'm going to the Quartzsite Town Park because fellow YouTubers Nathan, Marisa and Lil Hensley of Less Junk More Journey fame are having a meet and greet in town. But first, let me tell you about our sponsor Custom Covers. These steel covers, they keep your RV protected and out of the weather when you are not using it. And they come in a variety of colors. Available in 29 states with a 2-4 to four week lead time. Just call Lisa at 501-455-4442. And if you mention that Traveling Robert sent you, you get a 5% discount on your custom cover. Now back to Quartzite. Okay, here, we here we have the famous Airstream, of course. And there's a bunch of people over there already, so I think I'm late. But they are, of course, overwhelmed with the numerous fans that came to see them, so I only get a chance to say hello briefly. On the other hand, there is a bunch of other fellow YouTubers here, like for example Nomadic Native. Like me, he made a beeline from Tampa to Quartzsite. A, YouTu a YouTubers meet up here. <laughs> We're crashing Nathan and Marisa's party. Here's also Mike from Random Beats RV. Yeah, Random Beats RV here with us as well. Nomadic and Native. And, uh, and also here, Patrick, the paddy wagon. I'm telling you, we're having our own little meetup right here. Uh, you know, like the kids in the back of the classroom. All of us YouTubers and some viewers in common as well. All right, that was a selfie. Well, here's some extra video, courtesy of Mike, Random Bits RV. We are going to take a picture, group picture here with the, the Let's Junk More Journey, and that's the famous Airstream back there. I got a fancy full frame. Mine's actually not that good. He's looking for the one with the biggest lens. After the picture, we are going to get an Airstream tour as well. Mike, random bits, gets the karma up in the air to take some group shots as well. There are also some professional photographers with mm, very nice cameras. That was the group. We get in line to take a peek inside. And here we are. Inside this junk more journey home. I need to get me one of these. Yes, well, we haven't grocery shopped in a week, so we're down to a potato and two apples. But. Hey, great job. I remember all the work that went into this. Yes, yes. It came out it great. A, it was a long couple of months. Yeah. Of course, monkey see, monkey do. So. I decided to get my drone up in the air as well. 
well, while we are up here, uh, might as well give you a 360 degree view of Quartzsite and its surroundings. Going back home, palm trees and cacti and RVs uh, should be the symbols of Quartzsite. And I think I've discovered a new, better entrance to my campsite here at the Scadden Wash. Riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want. Well, yeah, finally decided that. I might have to run the generator here for a couple of hours. Solar is not cutting it. Okay, this is my view. As I uh, am editing videos here. In the middle of the desert. It is now that magic hour at the end of the day, right before sunset, when the desert turns into these surreal colors. doesn't really do it justice, but it's amazing. Well, I'm having battery issues, but I'm healthy. I'm free in my RV. I'm making a fried garbanzo, fried garbanzo beans, and um, I'm gonna edit with battery power. My, by, by the way, the, the problem is my battery is down to 11.7 volts. So, yeah. I've been kind of reluctant to run the generator at night, but at some point I'm gonna have to do it. There are more UFOs. Chinese lanterns. They are a thing here in Quartzsite. Well, good morning from Quartzsite, uh, Arizona. As you can see, I had to run the generator again. My batteries are dead. And that's the one thing about uh, this trip. By the way, how do you like my, my cactus? <laughs> uh, this solo trip is besides fulfilling my dream of, dr of driving cr cross country uh, while I'm still relatively young. Uh, it, it was all, also about, you know, testing uh, the, the, the feasibility of, of traveling long term uh, with Minitini the trailer and you know learning learning lessons that you only learned uh, by, stay, by staying long term on the road and the uh, first lesson I've learned is like my power systems are totally inadequate uh, for at least for something like this like boon, boondocking long term at a place uh, you know if, if I'm going to be at, a, at an RV park is fine 
but yeah my solar is definitely not enough especially at these latitudes because because in miami the sun is right up there you know in the uh, high up in the sky but here this the sun never never goes up that high so i, I my, my solar panel doesn't charge as efficiently as it as it does at lower latitudes and i'm, I'm, and I'm in the south imagine if i if i ever go north and uh, second my my battery it's uh, not enough like if i if i want to have the inverter and the the computers and everything happening at the same time uh, the battery won't won't last overnight so i definitely have to get a better uh, battery system and if anybody knows if if, if somebody builds uh, or sells a dual battery box uh, for trailers let me know because i haven't been able to find one uh, so uh, do comment below i'm gonna go into town now and uh, and see if i can find some kind of fast charger or something to revive my battery because it went down to 11.5 volts last night and that's no good even for an agm but isn't this beautiful i'm in the middle of the desert this is fantastic and the sunsets are amazing oh my god well guess what i found the shortcut out of here Well, this is the new exit I found. I'm telling you, in a few more days, I'll know this town like the back of my hand. Meanwhile, let's go to the big tent. It is early, so there is hardly anybody here and plenty of parking. We're right at opening time, so let's see. No one in here seems to have a standalone charger for sale. The adult daycare bar is a little less crowded today, but it's much earlier. We'll come back here later. Adult daycare. <laughs> At what time do they open? It doesn't say. People here are not open yet, as you can see. Well, found my battery charger. Let's see how this works. Here at the Tool Depot. Very cool, very, very, very nice folks. So, well, one thing out of the way. But since I'm here, might as well, you know, look around, see what else do they have here in the, this is like the flea market area. I mean, risk my life here crossing the street because I wanna get a, yesterday I saw this, uh, not yesterday, it was the day before yesterday they arrived. I saw this uh, cinnamon rolls and uh, hmm, dollars for a coffee and cinnamon rolls. It better be good. Yeah, they've got all kinds of stuff here. In this booth, they have all kinds of uh, artistic stuff made out of junk. By the way, that cinnamon roll was really good. I don't know if it was worth the five bucks, I and mean, it was nine bucks, the coffee. You know, you're in Quartzite, so everything is a little more expensive here. Yeah, a lot of the stuff is still closed. Lots of cool stuff here. I'm gonna go back to the RV, see if this works. Cool car. Oh, they have a Phoenix Cruiser here. Let's see what a pre-owned Phoenix Cruiser looks like. I mean, it probably needs a little DLC, but it's only 40 grand. That's not bad. Lots of fifth wheels out here. Heading back to my boondocking spot. I may or may not be back here. So let's just walk 
through the big tent one last time. Yep, yeah, the big tent is really big. Well, if this doesn't solve my problem, I might have to buy a new battery at some point. Get through my folks. Okay, saying goodbye to the big tent here at the Quartzsite RV show. Oh, by the way, unlike the Tampa show, this is a free show here in, uh, in Quartzsite, Arizona. I still can't believe I'm here. Well, here I am using my new charger in an attempt to revive the battery. Actually, when you are out here, the generator is not that loud at all. Pretty cool. Okay, do you see it? Yeah, I decided to explore on foot a little bit. We are taking the 95 north towards Parker, Arizona, another small town of barely 3,000 inhabitants, passing by all the BLM north of Quartzsite. Now that I'm thinking I should have brought the drone, but you know what, I wasn't able to charge it with these uh, battery problems that we have tonight. I'm gonna make sure, make sure everything is fully charged. Tomorrow, I think, we're going to California. This guy is really in a hurry, isn't he? In the past, I would have been more impatient, but... Oh my God, did you see that? Uh, now I understand why the RV is going slightly below the, slip, the speed limit. Oh, that's an accident waiting to happen right there. Oh, gosh. Everybody seems to be in such a hurry. Well, I'm not. Well, anyways, tomorrow we are going to California, but today... Today we are going to the Nelly E Saloon, also known as the Desert Bar. Here we are. Can you tell we are right next to California? Here's the very RV friendly Walmart Supercenter. It says 24 minutes for 8.5 miles, 8.9 miles. So, you know, it's gonna be a rough road. Well, we're about to take the Billy Mac Mine Road. We'll see how it goes. In half a mile, turn right onto Billy Mac Mine Road. Let's see how it goes. How this goes. Primitive road, caution, use at your own risk. This surface is not regularly maintained. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to change batteries here. Well, as the warning said, this road is not for the faint of heart. For the next five miles, we'll be going at an excruciatingly slow 10 to 15 miles per hour, 
which makes the painful drive almost half an hour. I mean, you really have to be in the mood for a drink to make this trek, right? Some people advised against doing this and some even said that a four-wheel drive vehicle was required. It is certainly the worst road conditions I have ever put old Kia under, but I am confident we will be successful in the end. Hmm. It looks like the black sedan gave up. Hmm, traffic jam. Also lots of people on ATVs. Another one that gave up. And another one. My only worry actually is that my tires are a little old and worn out and they don't have as much traction as they used to. Well, that is by far the roughest road I've ever taken, uh, old Kia, in her 14 years of life. You really gotta be desperate for a drink to come here, but I hope it's worth it. There it is, the famous desert bar. So let's go see what all the fuss is about. At least from far away, it looks like the place is happening. They've got live music. So back in 1975, this guy Ken acquired this land that used to be a mining camp. And in 1983, the Desert Bar was born at a very small three-wall structure. Check out the church, made of solid steel, completed in 1996. Okay, let's do what we came here to do. Although I wouldn't drink too much if we're gonna tackle that road after <laughs> apparently the bar is run entirely using solar power with batteries and inverters and the water comes from a well also solar powered this uh, covered bridge here we're walking on was completed in 1991 so you know he's been building this empire little by little throughout the 80s and the 90s and the band rocks Recycle, good. Well, let's get a drink. There's another bar in here. 
Super multi level, there's an other level up here. So, what do you guys think? Yeah, right, keep going up and see what's up here. Well, up here all there is, is the view. A commanding view. As I used to say when I channeled Rick Steves. And three. Two. And say cheese. One, two, three, one way. Well, what goes up? Let's go back down. I'm going back down, enjoy my beer. Maybe I should have brought my hiking shoes. The tall structures are apparently cooling towers. Yeah, it can get pretty hot out here. In fact, the bar only opens October through March. There's old Kia by the parking lot. And here's uh, an antique car, probably just a prop. And the view from backstage. Here's the menu by the bar, basically burgers and hot dogs. I do wonder why they say absolutely no cheese ever. I actually happen to like cheese in my burger. And when was the last time you got to pee with a view, huh? There's also Nico's Grill, apparently another restaurant. Oh, it is time to go. Well, this was a cool place, very interesting. The Desert Bar. Oh, that Nico's is, uh, they have a food truck down there. I didn't realize that. Okay, cool. Now we have to tackle that road again. Okay, let's check this out. At the beginning, I didn't realize this was actually a church. It kind of looks the part, but it is so small. And by the way, there are no services, but all religions are welcome. 
Also, apparently, these are the names of the people who donated money to build the church. Right. Well, lots of ATVs here, but as you saw, that road is made for ATVs. <sighs> yeah, one of these will be great to tackle that road. Although Kia performed admirably. Knock on wood, we still have to go back. Don't worry, I will not make you watch the whole trip back. Although, I might make a separate video just for that. Suffice to say, we've made it back in one piece. Mm, there's a lake down there. Well, that's the Colorado River, California on the other side. And uh, there's the Blue Water Casino as we approach Parker. Oh, by the way, at the desert bar, no cell phone signal and they do not take credit cards. So be prepared for a voyage back in time in that sense. The prices, however, are very much 2018, which is expected given the remote location. Fellow YouTubers and new friends Mike and Patrick are having a campfire, so I'm on my way to their campsite at the BLM, just north of town. It's gotta be around here. Yep, that's them on the left, on the golf cart. I'm gonna have to make a U-turn. <laughs> I was going too fast. I was going too fast. Oh, you're good, you're good. Good to see you, partner. Good to see you, too. We're waiting. Right. Uh, RV Frida is going to be over here with us. Hey, and we're going right. to get recording this. Hey. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming out tonight. You're she's welcome. Out, she's out here um, close, so we're going to take you both back. All right. Perfect. Let me just uh, pull over here to the okay, side. Well, we are caravanning towards uh, Mike's uh, site here. It's going to be another great desert sunset. One of the greatest things about coming to Quartzsite it's all the like-minded people you get to meet. <laughs> you, get a, you get a fire log that's got fire starter. Well, here we got, uh, we have a random bits RV, the paddy wagon, and free, free, RV Frida. RV Frida. RV Frida. RV Frida. Yeah. yeah the, uh, and, uh, I torch that I use. Big torch. Starters I was gonna starters. do all of that, and then I just bought fire starters. So <laughs> yes. But those mountains right there, that's perfect. Exactly. Okay, well, I don't know if I've seen that, so I'll have to look. Yeah, look on here. That's a raging fire. That got, that's not juniper wood, is it? I got juniper wood it's, last night. That, that, because that's a nasty. We're getting burgers and hot dogs. <laughs> I can't see it. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark, Mike. Hold on. Well, good morning, one last time from Quartzsite, Arizona. I just can't get over uh, this uh, sunrise. It's uh, so, so magical. But it is time to move on. If I ever want to uh, make it back to Florida, check it out. Sun's about to come out. Well, I've got some trash I need to get rid of. It is morning in quartz site. And that's what I'm looking for. It's called the refuse transfer station. Well, this is where you dump the trash here at quartz site. Let's continue. Well, let's put the GoPro up on the roof. 
make sure we are all buttoned up and off we go. Riding in my RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free in my RV yeah, I'm riding Yep, this is the shortcut I found the other day Riding in my RV, my RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free Well, you know, at some point I had to fly the drone back, right? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Kofa. There is one last thing I want to do here in Quartzite. Well, this is the High Jolly Cemetery. And this is what is referred to as the Shrine. Well, as the story goes, High Jolly came from Syria along with 70 camels that they brought to transport troops during the Civil War. And when he died, the locals built him this pyramid out of petrified wood and quartz his final resting place. Now we go south. Yuma awaits. The pilot gas station here in Quartzite is always packed, so I'm going to the next one to top off and now off we go for real. Riding, riding in my RV. Wherever I want to be Because I'm free In my RV Yeah, I'm riding Riding, riding I'm riding in my RV My RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free In my RV Check out the entrance to the Yuma Proving Ground here to the right. And the famous bridge to nowhere. And uh, did anybody notice we are not in the desert anymore? All of a sudden we've got once again that California feel with all the tall palm trees. Well, We've made it to Yuma, and one of the reasons I wanted to come here is this gas station that has a free dump station. Here's how it works. Uh, you leave your ID at the office and they give you the key to the dump station. You do your business, return the key and off you go. And next, uh, the idea is to go to the Paradise Casino, which is right next to the California border and supposedly has this huge RV parking lot. Here we are, crossing the Colorado River, straddling the state line. The Mission La Purísima Concepción, in the church on the hill, right there. RV lot closed? <sighs> I guess we'll have to go somewhere else. I want to be, I'm free in my By the way, according to the GPS, I am now in California, although I never saw the sign. And apparently I am, because there is an inspection station. Well, they took my lemons at the inspection station. Apparently, no citrus can come into California. Amazing, it's the only state with a border. 
Yeah, I was under the obviously wrong impression that we were all the same country here, but no. God forbid my Florida lemons come with me into California. I hope at least they make some lemonade for the Border Patrol, otherwise it will be a waste of a perfectly good fruit. Anyways, rant over. Here to the right we have this place called the center of the world, and they won three dollars. Sorry, California already took my lemons. Another time, perhaps. Recreational lands. It says uh, permit required and must be displayed. I don't know if it is too late to get a permit. But we'll see. I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. And guys, I'm free in my RV. Well, this is where I'm going to stay, in this BLM land, right off Ogilvy Road, here in California. And this looks like a nice place. Well, this is where we are going to stay tonight. Very windy here, but I'm still going to fly the drone. Watch me. Coming up on the next video, we are going to visit the Imperial Sand Dunes, Slab City, and the Southern Sea. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word, and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.